Good morning, guys. I am Amy Elizabeth. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching the replay. Um, let me know. Say hello. I want to know who is here and who is watching. Say hi. If you're a projector, really listen up. If you know a projector, tag that projector that needs to listen to this today. Okay, so projectors and work. This is like the dun dun dun, right? What do projectors, projectors, we're not here to be working a lot. We're not here to be endlessly working. So what does that mean? Because you have a business, right? You have a business. You have a business that you want to grow. You want the freedom. You want the power in your business. So what does this look like and what does this mean? So projectors, we're supposed to be working between four to six hours a day-ish, right? So the rest of those 20-ish hours are meant for rest, are meant for play, are meant for freedom, enjoyment, pleasure, whatever it is, that is what it's meant for. But you're still here to work. So what I'm seeing so many projectors be like is, uh, how do I work the least amount possible? Which is amazing and incredible and something you should be striving for. But right now in your business, you have to build the solid foundation as a projector first. You have to instill your power before that's going to happen, right? Before you can ultimately have those four hours a day of work, you need to be focused on building that upward. You need to be in your power. You need to maintain your power. You need to be consistently be there. You need to be ultra focused and highly efficient when you are working. So what happens to many projectors is why this four hours seems impossible because you are doing so many things. You're doing so many things and your mind becomes scattered. Your energy goes all over the place. We are like streamlined focused little beings, right? We need that energy to be clean. And if it's not clean, we can't focus and we can't get the things done. Also, you're then like, well, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. I'm a projector. I'm not supposed to be working. That is not the case. That is not the case at all. I built my business, which now I work between six to eight hours a week, sometimes going 10 to 12, depending on the week and what's going on within my business, when I'm launching, what, what work needs to get done behind the scenes, et cetera, et cetera. I worked full time and I did my business that night. <laughs> so I'm also a full-time mom, 100% the mother, the everything to these kids. Um, so it's, it, it, if you're thinking like that, if you're trying to align like that and just be like, I want to work as, le as least as possible. I don't want to do this. You are so misaligned right now. You are so misaligned and you are not going to be able to step into alignment with an energy like that. You have to be obsessed with your work. If you're not obsessed with your work, you're not going to want to do it. You are meant to be working. I don't want you guys to think that you are not meant to work as a projector. You're meant to absolutely love your work. So if you don't love your work, that's something that needs to be adjusted, right? If you're not in love with the work that you're doing right now, that needs to shift. You also need to allow yourself to work, right? Stop putting this limitation on yourself and this thing within human design where, where people, this isn't the truth, but people are saying projectors are not meant to work. Yes, we are. Our work though is not heavy lifting. It's not high, it's not heavy, heavy energy output work. Our work looks different than other people's work, but we're here to work. And actually we are designed to work. We're meant to be leading and guiding other people in a really expertise way, right? Again, really streamlined, really focused, really efficient. So if your work is kind of all over the place right now, you're probably not liking that, not enjoying it, and you feel like your energy is everywhere. And again, this power needs to be cemented in before you build upward, right? We always have to start with the ground work first and build up. So if you're not consistently standing in your power, nothing is going to be, nothing's gonna be working. All right. So next thing about projectors, what we need to be doing is really be seeing ourselves. And if you're not consistently seeing yourself, you're not going to be able to really bring out the power that you have for other people. So what does this mean? What does this mean? This means that everything you do, you need to see it within yourself before other people are able to see it. We are the projectors, right? So we're often seeing what's working, what's going well for other people, and we're having a hard time seeing that for ourselves, which in turn is not going to help us be any more efficient, right? It's not gonna create any streamlines. It's not gonna create efficiency. It's like we all of a sudden are placed with this thing in front of us and we're like, how didn't I see that? How didn't I know that, you know? 
So projectors, you have to be very aware of what's going on in your own world. And rather than if, if your business isn't feeling incredible right now, if you're not thriving, if you're not feeling all of the things that you know you're designed to be feeling right now and desire to be feeling, you need to start looking inward. What isn't working right now? What isn't working? What is working? What do you desire to be working? How do you desire to be standing in your power? And how can you start going inward to see that first, make the changes that need to happen, whether that's with you or with your team or um, in certain containers or changing something in your business and then start moving that outward. But nobody is energetically going to be magnetized by you when you're like, I don't know what to do. You know, things are going on right, but they're actually not. So I don't know what, what to do right now. I don't know what to do. So I have this mastermind. It is called the takeoff for projectors and it is all about efficiency. It is all about raising your power to the next level and is all about creating consistency, not with your doing, not with your energy, but with your power. And with that will come freedom, will come freedom. And the really interesting thing about projectors that when I work with projectors and obviously I'm a projector myself and I've worked through all of the things, I have a very thriving business. I run everything my way. It's all done the way I want it to be run. It is clean, clean, pure energy. And if it's not, it needs to be cleaned up really quickly. So what happens is that when we stand in this power, when we see our power, when we know our power, when our power is activated from a place of consistency, all of a sudden the universe starts to bend for us, right? And this is how things start rolling. This is how the momentum really takes off. The takeoff happens when the universe starts to bend for you. What happens is you're bending for the universe, right? You're trying to bend for the universe and the universe is like, no, I don't know, I don't know what you're doing. That's not you, that's not how you're designed. That's not what I need to see from you. So you need to be in your power. You need to be the one standing there. You need to be that lighthouse for other people and you have to know that you're going to work. All right, you have to know that you are going to be doing work and you're gonna be wildly obsessed with the work that you're doing because it, it's part of you, it's part of your energetic exchange is to be so obsessed with the work that you're doing. So if you are somebody, a projector, that is wildly obsessed with their work, but things are just not working the way you want them to work right now, your energy is not as streamlined, you are not in your power consistently, you're like, I teeter in, I teeter out, it's good, it's good, but it's not incredible, and I am striving for incredible. If you are striving for incredible, for freedom, for ease, and I don't mean ease by making it all just easy, but your business feels incredible. When everything feels incredible, ease is there because we just flow through things effortlessly. So I wanted to invite you in to this mastermind. Two more people have signed up today. Well, one, the other one is signing up later today and it is almost filled up. This is almost filled up. So you need to make the decision to stand in your power and that comes from making empowered decisions. So if you are a projector right now that is like things are not good, start doing something about it. Stop sitting there, stop waiting, stop wondering, stop trying all of these things that are not working because you're wasting your time and you're wasting your energy. Step into your power in this moment. Allow yourself to be guided to exactly what you need and where you want to be right now. Learn from a projector that is in her power consistently, that is built a thriving, abundant business my way, my way, okay? So if you would like the link, let me know. Good morning, gorgeous. And I cannot wait to see you guys there. We start September. It is four power-filled calls of all of the efficient efficiency. I am not bringing in any fluff to this, right? We are getting to the point of what needs to happen for you. I'm gonna be able to see you, your chart, your business, you, what's not working for you, and we are making the changes. That is the projector style takeoff. So I'm sending you guys so much love, have a beautiful day, and let me know, projectors, if you're in.